Hi, I'm Melanie Friend. I'm a principal with Cowan Gates and I practice family law for the firm. My practice encompasses divorce, child custody, spousal support, child support, and adoption. We also do premarital agreements and cohabitation agreements. Basically, family law means anything that has to do with dealing with disputes or disagreements uh, between family members or adding to or sometimes subtracting to, subtracting from your family. The first piece of advice that I would give someone who's going through a divorce would be to ensure that they are well informed about the finances in their family, that they understand how much income is coming into the household, that they know what debts are owed, that they understand what assets they have uh, as far as things like retirement accounts, how much your house is worth, how much your cars are worth, whose name is on the title to these things. Information is the most valuable tool someone can have whenever they're preparing to go through a divorce. On the Cowan Gates website, we actually have a list of some documents that'll help you have a successful divorce consultation so that you can make the most of your time. But some of these things would include retirement account statements, mortgage statements, bank account statements, credit card statements, pay stubs, tax returns, basically the kind of documentation that will give your attorney a good picture of what the family's financial health looks like and would provide sufficient information for the attorney to give some general advice on things like what kind of support amount might be ordered or how the division of assets or debts might come out. Parties don't actually have to go to court in order to get a divorce if they can agree on distribution of their assets, their debts, custody of their children, and any spousal support or child support that needs to be paid. Where the husband and wife can agree on terms that they think best solves their issues between them, no one ever needs to go to court. Instead, what they do is come up with the terms of their agreement and an attorney would draft a property settlement agreement for one of the spouses. The other spouse would take it to his or her attorney for a review and they would sign the agreement that just basically becomes a contract between them that resolves how they're going to deal with the dissolution of their marriage. Once that property settlement agreement is signed, it governs how they conduct themselves and how they divide their things and how they care for their children. And once they've met the statutory separation period, they can simply file a no-fault divorce and the divorce itself can be accomplished by submitting paperwork to the court and without anyone ever going before a judge. Mm -hmm.